Let's try to understand what Echo Hub is. As Amazon tells it, the Echo Hub is an easy to use Alexa enabled control panel for your smart home devices, but that doesn't help us very much since it sounds a lot like every other Alexa speaker device with a screen. You could say that while many other Echo devices are speaker first, the 8-inch Echo Hub is smart home first. It integrates with all of Amazon and Ring's smart home devices like alarm systems, cameras, thermostats, smart locks, and lighting, and it gives you a central place to manage control of all of them a little easier than on a typical Echo screen device. Some of the key innovations here are that it's flat and designed to be wall-mounted, though a $30 stand is available. And you can more easily customize the controls and widgets displayed on the screen and adjust which devices you see or which cameras you can pull up quickly. The small flat panel also uses presence sensing, which Amazon calls adaptive content, to detect when someone's nearby so the screen will switch automatically from a clock or photo display to the customizable smart home control screen. In my opinion, I would say this device is designed to be your smart home at a glance. Where other Alexa devices like the Echo Show 15 or the Echo Show 10 are designed to be more information focused and they'll show you things like news, weather, interesting stories, jokes, or other Alexa how-to information, the default viewing on the Echo Hub screen is your smart home and all of its gadgets. Your hub needs 24-7 power and it plugs into a wall outlet. I opted to place my hub on a stand. If you choose to wall mount this device, you can get a wall rated conduit to hide the power cable inside Inside your wall, but this is a little more trouble than I think it's worth. Another option is to use power over Ethernet with a compatible USB-C converter. What can Echo Hub do? After spending several weeks with this device here in my home, I'd say the Amazon Echo Hub has four key features. First, it works as a smart home security hub. Anyone who has a home alarm system or had a home alarm system, say more than 10 years ago, likely remembers you needed to have a hardwired central panel in order to arm and disarm the alarm. Now, it kind of looks like we're back to the future with this concept, which is meant to be placed in a central location inside your home. Echo Hub makes an ideal alarm system control panel. I've had a ring alarm system for many years and I like the idea of a hub as a central panel. My Echo Hub here connected with the Ring Alarm 2 almost automatically. Because Alexa devices can access smart home gadgets that I've already set up, it just pulled in all of my key smart home gadgets and put them right in the Hub's interface, including the existing alarm system. At a glance or when I call up the system, I can see if my home is armed or disarmed. Initially, while I was able to arm the system with a tap, when I tried to disarm it from the Hub, I got an error message saying access code required to disarm. If you are facing this problem, it's an easy fix via a setting in the Alexa app. You can head to techgadgetscanada.com to see the review and the full instructions. Okay, on to the second key purpose of this device, and that is as a security camera feed. One of the other interesting things I found about the Echo Hub is that it can show a longer term feed of any of your cameras. Just choose which one you want to keep an eye on and open it on the screen. It'll stay open here for about seven minutes. That seems to be a bit of a newer feature since some other Echo Show devices I've tried do let you drop in on a camera for a short period of time, but then always return to the Alexa main screen after a few seconds. This is something many Ring customers have been asking for since it lets you use one of your cameras like a de facto baby or pet monitor. Even so, seven minutes isn't a really long time and it's kind of annoying to have to reload the camera on the screen constantly. I'd love it if I could just choose a camera to keep up on the screen for an hour or more. The third key purpose of Echo Hub is as a smart home control panel. You can also use this device to manage all of the lights in your home, turning each one on or off with a virtual tap. While I generally find it far more convenient just to use voice control for this kind of thing, it's good to know the home hub can become a de facto remote control too. It also works to control smart thermostats and door locks, so it can be a good way to put your home to bed all from one location. I actually found the Echo Hub also makes an ideal secondary control panel to keep in the primary bedroom. This lets you see your home at a glance and secure everything at the end of the day if you've already gotten into bed. 
The last and maybe least important core feature of Echo Hub is that it plays music. This hub wouldn't be an Echo device without some audio capabilities. You can absolutely use it to play music, news, or podcasts, though with that said, the audio quality is not as good as some other more music-focused Echo devices. The only speakers for this one live in the top of the device and they are quite small. Amazon doesn't give any information about the wattage or power of these speakers, so I can really just describe them as adequate. While they're not high fidelity and they're not going to fill a room, they're more than fine for issuing and confirming smart home commands and listening to audio if you happen to be nearby. Overall, I have to say I'm incredibly conflicted about this device. It kind of seems to be bobbing aimlessly on a sea of Amazon gadgets looking for just the right port to dock in. I think for the right user with the right use case, this is going to be a handy device. But if you're just looking at this alongside more traditional Amazon speaker gadgets and you don't already have a specific reason for choosing the Echo Hub, you can probably opt out.